Today on the Mike O'Mara Show. I forgot my meds. Oh, I forgot, no. I forgot my, uh, my cholesterol medicine. Roller coaster. Carla's going to have I a fun day my, or so. My mood leveling oh, uh, medicine. We well, you shouldn't and, need that for the next couple uh-oh. days. Yeah, there's yeah. a hurricane. There's a hurricane inside our hotel room. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm fine. If you've just joined us, Mike has uh, evacuated his home and he forgot his mood leveling ointment. <laughs> <laughs> it's the a mood song. level is Carly, a Carla swap, takes song. the same ones. So oh, you guys she's brought enough for me. She good. brought enough for yeah. me. Um, <laughs> well, that's nice. That's a good couple's activity. Hi, Oscar and Rob. Hey, buddy. Hello. Tell Oscar and Rob what I told you about your friends. Worst case scenario, they're all going to die. <laughs> oh, my God. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that was Irma when we drove up yeah. to Virginia. I yeah. think that was the last time we had that. And we did drive up to v- Virginia. So You missed the teddy this bear is closer toss. closer to home. That's right. That? You missed the teddy bear toss. That He's year. got an amazing memory, doesn't he? he he's like, like a photograph. I'm going to get off the line. <laughs> You don't want to. You don't want to talk about this. You know, I could. I could endure many more minutes of you. (laughs) All that and more. The Mike O'Mara Show starts now. Mike O'Mara Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. And now, here's Rob. Live from the Podville Media Studios in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., this is The Mike O'Mara Show. Now in our second decade, TMOS is a worldwide podcast and radio show With a family of listeners who are unrivaled in their love and support for our program, if you are first-time listeners, sit back, relax, and leave the driving to us. You are in for a treat. And for our longtime friends, thank you for your continued support and spreading the word every day about TMOS and great places like Flagstaff, Arizona, Napili, Hanakawai, Maui, Hawaii, Clam, Virginia, Foley, Alabama, Nuke, Greenland, and Fredonia, New York. TMOS is on the air and everywhere, so let's get started. Uh, what happened to just the regular opening of the show? Well, I just gonna... jumped right in and read the script. Yeah, we do that in the second segment. Yeah. No, we don't. This is TMOS. Right. It's Wednesday. Right. Or Tuesday. 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 And Dude, I don't even know what's going that's on. That's the first thing you do. Yeah, does Mike do that? Well, Mike, I didn't know if he'd have his thing in front of him. So I was going to now take this up. Now I was going to say, ladies Mike and gentlemen. Mike doesn't even have a home right now. He has a home. How dare you? He doesn't know that. He's just traveling is all. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mike O'Mara. Hi. Hi. Okay. Last we left you, you had five different hotel bookings just in case of trajectories, which I think was phenomenal thinking ahead. Yes. So you book them. You cancel Thank them, you. you book them, you cancel them, you book them, you cancel them. You kept yeah, one of your bookings. Booked, uh, we booked this one um, two days ago. Uh, I booked this two days ago. Uh, we are now um, officially evacuated from a little town called uh, uh, Estero, Florida, where uh, we never dreamed that we would get a man- mandatory evacuation. We just got it, and we've been here, though, on the other side of the state in a uh, area called Deerfield Beach, Florida, for I think we arrived here right around one o'clock in the afternoon, and we finished uh, the tedious work of um, of moving every possible item off our back porch that we could. Anything that would be um, a projectile. Yeah, right. I right. apologize if I'm dragging because we're just. Um, it's been. Um, it's been an exhausting exercise just because of the uncertainty. And there are people right now that are, uh, looking at that track as it's continued to go east and east and east and east. And now God knows, but pretty close to my area. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. The, uh, the idea of, I had this overwhelming sense of that I had planned 24 hours earlier and um, and it, it might serve me well. And as I saw nine, eight, nine neighbors doing exactly what I had finished yesterday. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Uh, it wasn't a feeling of joy, but it was like, I knew it. 
I, yeah. I just yeah. I had a hunch that that uh, you know the the whole thing is this is the textbook example when you're dealing with a hurricane of uh prepare for the worst and you have to have the plan they say that have a plan my yeah. plan is you know i was thinking about I was saying this to carla today i was saying that um when they talk about having a plan there's so many people that don't know what that is yeah. that don't realize that if this happens, you do this. Yeah. If this happens, you do this. Now, I'm in a the, very I mean, advantageous the, situation. The only plan yeah. I knew was plan B. But plan you B. Get, you can get that over at the pharmacy. Well, we're in zone C. <laughs> so that's not zone B or zone A. Mm -hmm. Zone A evacuated. Then they evacuated zone B. Uh, but how did you, to, were you evacuated from your house after you had already begun to leave? Made the, made the call. Didn't think I would be, uh, that there would be, a mandatory evacuation. So that you not only you not only got out in time, you probably beat a bad bad traffic incident too. If you got out before uh, mandatory 75, evacuation, there are two roads that go from uh, west to east in Southwest Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, one is I seventy five, and the other one is uh, Interstate forty one, otherwise referred to as the Tamiami Trail, Tampa Miami Trail. Yeah, the uh traffic when we were on there so we were an hour and a half away we left uh 10 30 a.m uh somewhere between 10 and 10 10 30 a.m traffic was already starting to thicken um they're talking about it's a mess now that uh people you know leaving now we're not we're 24 hours away from getting the real mm -hmm. bad part mm -hmm. of that storm um but the thing that <laughs> The thing that you worry about now that you're in it, and now that, that I've never gone through this really like this, uh, I evacuated once before, went up to Virginia. It was not the same. This is much different because this is so much more my home now. And that's what, uh, you know, the first thing you do is you secure your family and you make sure they're safe. There's a spaghetti plot that sends this, this effort of a hurricane directly over uh, southern, uh, southwestern Florida and cross to right where I am now. Uh, this thing is the, uh, I don't want to say, I'm not going to start knocking forecasters, <laughs> but they've been wrong from yeah. the yeah. absolute yeah. day one. They've been wrong, 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 wrong. It has changed every single time. And I know they run these, these plots, but what's the point of having a forecast if you don't have, you know, these cones? I think a lot of people that have gone through this probably echo my sentiments. These cones that they show you, uh, I, I don't, they give you a general idea of what's going on, but they, it, you can't, they're not reliable. So if you're really living in an area where specifically this thing's going to come your way, you have to look at the cone as, how would I put it? You have to look at the cone as kind of a general idea. Yeah. So you this said certainly not a forecast. You said that the first priority is to make sure your family is safe. So am I to believe you brought them with you? <laughs> no, I left them in the home. Okay, well, how, someone needs to watch the how house. How do you how do you project what is calm, sincere, thoughtful, positive energy in such a negative situation? Yeah, the idea of uh, planning it and having your act together. I, I don't I, look. I don't think. Uh, that we're anything special. I think that uh, this comes to my broadcasting career. This comes to mm -hmm. when there's a situation like this. Um, I DJ just instincts. You, you, what's that? DJ instincts. They kick in. You have to breathe deep and 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 just really be pragmatic. Yeah, and you say, have to. Because what you find in a uh, situation, I want to see what Pony texted me here. What's the latest path? <laughs> what is he got? What is Tony he got? has a path that coming from <laughs> from the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, that's hilarious! Covers all of Florida. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Thank you, you Pony. To... Keep us updated. Sure that's thing. funny. That made me laugh out loud. We've had a few laughs uh, today. Um, you have to. I go into a, 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 a and pardon me for being the kind of the way I was yesterday. I go into this uh, mode where. I just want to be ahead. It's sure. almost like scooping somebody for yeah. a story. Yeah. You want to do that. And I know 
And as I said to Carla, I said, Carla, you're on a road right now where at 5 p.m. tonight, regardless, you're not going to go anywhere. It's yeah. going to be a parking lot. Carla had two appointments today. Mm. At, at 5.30 this morning, she came out there. I was quiet. We didn't scream and yell. We didn't do that. But I said, I looked at her and I just said, I think you're, look, I think you're out of your mind yeah. if you do this. I think we ought to be feet by 10, 11 a.m. Uh, there's a lot of work still to be done here to get stuff out of danger's way that they could damage property, not to just our house, but the houses next door. Yeah. So we, uh, she looked at me and she said, yeah, and then canceled. And, Thoughtful uh, approach. I would have I would have marched in and said, it's my way. And then we hit the highway. I would have said, bring the clients with you. Carla has been uh, next to me this whole time, like supportive. But uh, are you listening to this, honey? I would be <laughs> lying if I didn't say it's been grudging. It's been grudgingly. Yeah. Every friggin' thing I've asked her to do, she's gone a little bit of kicking and screaming, you know. Well, that makes it that makes it fun. She likes to take care of her clients. Sure, but she likes to take care of her clients. It's a full service joint. Yeah, yeah. Likes to take care of her clients, and it's a uh, you know, it's just been it's been crazy. How has your young man been with all of this? He's exhausted. I I let him stay up and watch uh, the worst quarterback in the NFL last night. So (laughs) um, it was a, and then I had a couple of Irish whiskeys Mm -hmm. when I was doing that. And then I ate cookies after that. Yeah. I my look, my Sadness. stress, mm-hmm. my anxiety manifests itself in ingesting food. What kind of cookies? They were these thin things you get at Costco. Oh, that coconut. you can eat you can eat three hundred of them. Yeah. Coconut thins. Oh, I've had them. Yeah. I'll eat the whole thing. They're bag. delish. Yeah, they are. They're very good. They're, they're very, they're very, very yummy. But uh, we're here and we're queer and we're not going skiing. No, we're over <laughs> here and it's going to be fine. But I would be, I have one overwhelming anxiety and I mean, it's real anxiety. And is that, that what am I going to go back to? I'm, I'm scared no. out of my mind. That's yeah. the, Did you crate the dogs the at least? Thing. What's that? Did you crate the dogs? Uh, the dogs are here oh. with us at the hotel. That's very generous. What about the snake? There's only one living creature. There are two. There's a fish. And a snake. Mm. If uh, the roof blows off, they might be in peril. Oh, I believe no. the snake could eat the fish. Yeah, and Free Willy. The snake could survive even if yeah. it was yeah. know, blown it's, into the woods. So mm. slink into freedom. Exactly. He doesn't have a collar? Did no, you, he, you doesn't guys, have a, he doesn't have any snake tags. You guys <laughs> you wouldn't be able to, You didn't have him chipped. You got to have him chipped. <laughs> yeah, the That's collar keeps coming snake off. Tags. <laughs> that, doesn't, uh, that doesn't work out. So the only thing uh, that I left behind was an entire broadcast studio. Mm. So it was a question of, oh, by the way, because we have had, since we moved in, uh, we have these massively uh, heavy aluminum uh, storm on Facebook. shutters yeah. that are yeah. designed to go on the back sliding glass doors. Mm-hmm. And uh, we couldn't put them on because the pavers that we've had since we moved in yeah. blocked the way. And oh. I wasn't ready for that excavation. It right. just was, yeah. especially with the back that I have. So, uh, there were, I don't know how many of these goddamn things there were. So that was, you know, I said, hmm, we leave those on the old back patio. That's going to be, I could just, those are the type of things you see airborne. Yeah, like a, fi- a big 400 pound it's, flying it's, blade. It's a wing. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's a, it's, a it's a blade. It's a gigantic blade, you know? Uh, and I said, you, you know, we, we got to, we got to haul those back into the garage. And then, uh, and then we took, uh, we have a giant umbrella that is one of those uh, umbrellas that sits in a yeah. base and that yeah. hangs yeah. over. Yeah. And it's magic. If, if you don't weight it, it, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll blow all over the sure, place. Sure. So you have to lift up the plastic cover. And then inside are these square 50 pound mm-hmm. weight bricks that you have. And the umbrella uh, sort of holds the four of them together at right angles. And exactly. it's a horrible, horrible design. It's it's a little tedious to work with. Yes. And um, I just want you to know that I was a good supervisor telling Carla how to pick up the yeah, 50 pound I would weight. Just dump that, you know, in the gully. Like, good luck. Dump it in the gully. I didn't yeah. know Mike you know had we a gully. Dump? We have two Shays lounges out yeah. there. Yeah. And we, and we threw them in the pool. Yeah. 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 You're like, later. Later, no, yeah. no, you're supposed to. You're no, supposed I didn't know to. That. You don't have I any would. place. There, there Where's it going to go? Them, so 
You know, where are you going to put them? Uh, but the cool move was sliding that umbrella, which was now lightweight, and you were able to move it. Sure. It's, it's massive. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. I've seen them. They're huge. They're like, yeah, yeah. They're like 10 right? feet in diameter when you open yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. And that is now in my living room at, at home. Do you think it'll stay there? <laughs> because yeah. it's a good yeah. look. <laughs> a you good, have, uh, you, yeah. You have, I, I don't, this is where you become an adult. Yeah. Which I know that sometimes that's hard for anybody listening to this show to believe. Like, I don't know what's covered under insurance. And I know. You mentioned that because I, I have a story around that too. Yeah. I'd love to hear, like, do you know your policy? I don't know my no. policy. And the policy be paper mache if we get a, you know, if the mm -hmm. roof blows off. So, yeah. Um, what I know is this. I just heard this today watching the local news, Oscar. Apparently, that little exercise of just being safe and putting up uh, storm shutters yes. and hurricane shutters. Yeah. Uh, there are sneaky riders in these policies that they don't tell people that don't cover things if you don't have storm shutters up. Mm. And that's kind of sneaky. We did it anyway. Oh, but, my uh, God. Yeah. Really? They have that written in like in an underhanded way? In certain policies, wow. you know, the insurance, uh, the insurance companies have gotten destroyed down mm -hmm. here in Florida with all Hurricane the people Andrew. Irma, yeah. uh, getting that. The other thing I did, and this would be hysterically funny. I can show you this a little bit. I did a walking tour. A oh, video. Yeah. Tour yeah. So you can see all your of assets. My, of my possessions. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's smart and, to do. Yeah. I've done that. Know, let me. I have every play, piece of. Every I'm going to hold it up. And of course, this is how it came out. Hold well, on, just you and your wife. That is a possession, technically. Yeah, satanic possession. No, no. So here we go. Uh, there yeah, you go, yeah, Mike. Yeah, way, yeah. To, way to run the camera yeah, the right way. Yeah. That's uh, right. TV and an Xbox. Way to run the camera the right way. Yeah, <laughs> gotta, I'm that guy. We, we got to upgrade well, you. Well, they're Jesus not gonna, Christ. Mike. They're not gonna check your age when they get that video. They're I mean, gonna know how old you are. Ah, <laughs> got so your sideways. I went through the house and. You know, when you think about things of real value in the home, uh, two TVs. Right. Uh, I, I took a, I took a video of the uh, surround sound receiver that I have. Recliner. Uh, the I got I have an expensive massage chair. Mm -hmm. uh, I showed that, and then I went into the studio. Yeah. And I showed the I took a real good close up the of the uh, of the camera yeah. that we have because yeah. that's really expensive. Yeah. And then <laughs> dismissively at the end of the video, I went, and two iPads. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> this you know, guy. Now, because it was, uh, but but the studios. You didn't get confused. You didn't get confused and throw the throw the massage chair into the pool, did you? No. No, you don't want to do that. But I got really down low to get the, ser ser the serial number. And, oh, yeah. Uh, and everything on it. Now, and, here's a question. Uh, oh, did I mention? Did I mention that uh, we're going to uh, New Orleans on April 15th? Yeah, 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 yeah. A, um, uh, we are going to be in New Orleans. Tickets go on sale November 1st. November 1st for our big show in New Orleans, Louisiana, and uh, we'd love you to be there. Uh, it's exciting. It's the House of Blues. People are already it's booking the their, 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 yes. their trips. They're booking their hotels. Uh, uh, oh, I mean that sweetheart deal that he got on his. And hey, by the way. All right, now you can turn the music okay. off. Okay, so join us in uh, in New Orleans this spring. We're looking forward to it. Um, may I simply say, to those certain individuals, this happens every time we have tickets to a, an event. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> it really, I, I want to make it really clear, people. It's not about you <laughs> as an individual. Okay, your desire. One guy, this guy Dan Ware. Oh, him. I'm like, Four different threads. I'm like four different threads. By the way, you think April 15th is enough lead time to adjust schedules? And this guy is just going, Ugh. and he hops on another thread just to say he can't make it. I'm it's glad like, he can't make it. No, no, no. no I'm no. glad he can't make it too. The, hosti the hostility. Relax. And not to you guys. You guys have every every aspect of this and have lived it since we've, we've done the show of like who can be happy, who can't be happy. We haven't had an East coast show in five years. And right. every time we head out to Vegas or anywhere else outside of the East coast or, or East coast with air quotes. Yeah. People yell at us. Then they get like, yeah. I can't make it to Vegas. Are you crazy? Yeah. What's the matter? With uh, you? But new Orleans, it's been five years. We haven't had a show in this region close to the East coast in five years. And I think it's fair to say that, 
Uh, we're we're going to have a blast. And for those that, you know, are trying to finagle and figure out how to get there, I love that. For those who are complaining about it, the passion is slightly annoying because you're vocalizing it. But fine, I get that. Uh, but for me, the, the over, overwhelming response is positive that I've seen. It oh, it's very positive. Oh, very positive. Yes, but indeed, I, yeah. You know me. You give me one negative. <laughs> That's what you're going to focus on? You know, I'm 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 just finding out whether I have a roof one in a, in about 48 yeah. hours. I'm not going to know whether my child is going to be educated uh, in Florida or the great state, uh, you know, of uh, of Virginia homelessness. Yeah, you know, now, I, did, I did have a question about when you you say you have a plan and you prepared and you did, but if I was facing something like this, did you bring any personal effects with you? Yeah, like your from house, like a. Like a photo, like a photo album would have been something people would have taken in the yeah. old days. Of course, pictures are all digital now. Yeah, you got but a thumb drive. Did, did you take anything with you like that? Something that you deemed any. like your crypto uh, thumb drive. I mean, I, I don't <laughs> with the know, password on it. Yeah. yeah, everything's digital. Everything's legacy boxed. Everything yeah. is oh, good. Uh, good. You know, there are photographs on the wall, but everything's in my camera. You know, yeah. I mean, the, yeah. the valuable, sentimental pictures and any uh, ointments or medications. Forgot my meds. Oh I forgot, no! I forgot my uh, my Here cholesterol medicine. Roller coaster. Carla's and gonna have I a fun my, day or so. My mood leveling oh, uh, medicine. Well, you shouldn't and, need that for the next couple uh -oh. days. Yeah, there's yeah. a hurricane. There's a hurricane inside our hotel room. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm fine. So if you've just, if you've just joined us, Mike has uh, evacuated his home and he forgot his mood leveling ointment. <laughs> It's the a mood song. level is Carla, swap, Carla takes song. the same ones. So <laughs> oh, you guys she's oh, brought enough for me. She good. brought enough for yeah. me. Ration them. <laughs> um, well, that's nice. That's a good couples activity. Yeah. <laughs> now you take half of this and I'll take half of We're this. We're going to level together. Well, let me stay on both so we sides arrive, of the hotel room. Yes. Uh, we arrive at the uh, motel yes. and there's a pool in back of it. We're right on the beach. Oh, very close oh, cool. to the beach. Uh, which in September in this part of Florida, you got, you know, a great rate. Is it a man-made so pool or, an, the airport. or a, is it a man-made pool or a naturally occurring pool? It's a, a it's a drainage ditch. That's yeah. what I suspected. Yes. No, they're like 50. I it, By the way, they're getting a band when we arrive, a, a, a hurricane, outer hurricane band. It is blowing to beat the band, horizontal rain, uh -huh. yeah, everything. And blowing good out here now. Uh, you know, right out, uh, it's, uh, you know, as I said, it's 35, 85, I don't know. In this battle of the, of, of the keys. Is yeah. this, in this battle of the bands, does it give you enough, uh, enough time to go to the, to get some snack shack, uh, like some, uh, resources that when, if you can't go out, when the storm actually yeah, hits that you get a cold sixer, yeah, you have got, a restaurant on the property. Okay. Got it. Got it. Because I would, I'd worry about snacks. Yeah. Right? Is it a is it a Cracker Barrel hotel? No, no. no the no. the restaurant that's on yeah. the property, or is it actually part of the motel? I think it's part of the motel. So it's not it's a like, name place. It's like one of those. It's the kind. It's like a an elevated <laughs> Perkins. You no, know, you know the lobby where they serve breakfast. Yes, yeah, 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 the yeah. Continental Breakfast, like a Denny's. It's a it's an ele no Denny's would be much bigger. Okay. Oh boy, it's elevated. To that, but it looks it's it's fine. We yeah. already ate lunch. It's it's okay. okay. What'd you, you have? Know? What did they serve? Uh, man, you're a hungry man. I all always hungry. The cookies, I the detail there. Hungry. I can't. You know What'd what? You don't today? don't fault me. No, you I'm look hungry. Great. I saw his lunch time. today. It was turkey and carrots. It sucks. Poor guy. Carrot time. Turkey meat. Yep. And carrots. It's a sad lunch. It is a sad lunch. Yeah. Like like deli slices. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a little, I walked in about on four his ounces lunch, of it, and I'm like, oh, I see you're feasting, and <laughs> yeah, it was just like a scene out of the Dragon <laughs> Show. It, it was just <laughs> it's with it, me and my baby carrots. It, it, like, what is it? Uh, Tracaris, tr tr and then he like <laughs> uh, all this fire came out of the turkey, <laughs> and then he took care of the turkey, smoked. And, and the then, bad thing is, is that I ate a little earlier today, and now it's going to be tough getting yeah, through the day. Yeah. Should have saved my carrots. I have um, I I my schedule before uh, my back injury and then before all this hurricane stuff started. I was working out three days a week, and I was playing golf three to four days a week. Yeah. And on the days I wasn't, I was taking my son uh, to the batting cages sure. and taking him to baseball practice. I had what I would describe as a full schedule. Now, if you add up my last forty-eight hours, my last forty-eight hours have been 
putting up storm shutters and moving furniture. I don't think I have felt this. Ex- oh, and, and and throw in a complete emotional wreck New York Giants game last night. Yes. So there, that was a sad game. I have. I don't believe I've been this exhausted. Yeah, it looked in, like they won, and, and then it's, they it's, lost. it's complemented lost. by the fact that you are undergoing now intense stress going on 48 hours yeah. where you can't yeah, they relax. Did a new, they did a news story about that, too. They called it hurricane uh, anxiety. I, I never even got to this. That's the If you talked about that's number one, not knowing what I would come back to, yeah. but – when you hear people go through these storms, if something really bad does happen, you know, life and limb is is always, uh, you know, yeah. that's the, the main priority. And I think I'm pretty well, I've got that covered, unless we get a direct hit over in the hotel we drove to. That would be that would be ironic, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know? it would destroy all the last minute right turn. Boom. It would destroy you know? all the square eggs tomorrow for breakfast. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> lovely square how, eggs that they'll be serving. How do you explain a hurricane to an eight-year-old? He probably knows more than we do. He got crying about two hours ago. He was, uh, that's the only part that made me feel weird um, uh, because he doesn't understand it that much, even though he's nine. Yeah. I'm he sorry, doesn't nine. Get it. Yeah. He doesn't totally get it. And he's wondering why his friends, uh, two of his friends are staying behind. Yeah. At, at least they were on our drive over here, but they might that might have changed. Sure. I think now Did a you couple explain of them have Darwinism. I don't think it's a now is not the time we, and place. He did Oscar. make a joke. He's got a sophisticated Michael. Come over here, Michael. You want to come the out here? Theory of evolution. Yes. Survival of the You'll, fittest. I'll, I'll let him tell you what evolution. I told not so much here. Thank right? you. But both I'll great. Let, no, I'll let you know, working you. on my uh, both, trade craft here. Both great. I can so Hey, buddy. We were lunch. Tell me, what, what did I tell you? Say hi to Oscar and Rob. Hi, Oscar and Rob. Hey, buddy. Hello. Tell, uh, tell Oscar and Rob what I told you about <laughs> your friends. Worst case scenario, they're all going to die. <laughs> oh, my God. Mike. <laughs> 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 But that's the worst. Why would you give it to him straight like that? That is crazy. He just have fun. He's sophisticated. He can handle yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And you what speak you... the truth. We're all a little nervous. What do you know we? about a hurricane, Michael, yeah. outside of what your father's given you? The processing. Processing. Oh. <laughs> They're dangerous and they have a lot of water. Do you know how many <laughs> that's ca- true. Do you know how many categories <laughs> there are? How many categories there are of hurricane? There's a category one, category two, category three, category four. There you go. And Armageddon. Yeah, that's it's that? a big disaster word. What is your? <laughs> there's one thing. There's one thing he's most positive. concerned about back in the in the uh, in the home. What, what? And do you think? What? Can you guys guess what that is? His gaming system. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rob, get Rob with the win. How does a C- ding CPU float? Yeah. <laughs> Rob with the win. Mm. It's going to be okay, buddy. It'll be okay. Trust safe. me. Your friends will be okay. Yep. Everybody will be okay. He's maintaining his schedule. I'm maintaining mine, and uh, he's maintaining his Spanish schedule. So he just he yep. got off with uh, Angel, his Spanish so, teacher. Yep. So, on, only Carla, on so only on Carla Angel. canceled. Angel. We're not all the same, Mike. Only Want to speak with uh, Oscar? Can you speak some of your- Can you I just take a, over? Yeah, yeah take, take over. It's your show. <laughs> so what were you talking about? No, I want to talk- We're talking Spanish. about Angel and Juan. Wait, Oscar speaks Spanish? Si, hablo español. Vague. He's probably What's better that? than you now. Oh, get out of here. All right, go in your Yeah, room. Bolivia's okay. landlocked. We don't get hurricanes. <laughs> Bolivia. <laughs> it's a South American yeah. country. We're known for uh, the Andes Mountains and mountains of cocaine. <laughs> don't say good. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> You're the one that's telling you. death jokes. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Mike, I don't want to, you know, end on a sad <laughs> note here, but, you know, I just want to, you know, hurricanes are bad here, but you know where hurricanes are great? Where? At a bar in New Orleans. <laughs> It's funny, I heard your... I, oh, you... Okay, so I'm getting your feed, so I get the news. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah, get yeah, it, yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, New Orleans, Louisiana. Very, Shannon very said that she's so excited about Louisiana, she's already looking up for places to eat, like a schedule of restaurants to go and eat. So when will she cancel this trip? No, no, she won't cancel this trip. Okay, I hope not. She was, um, Carrie had a tri- had a surprise for me, actually. Not only is Carrie coming, but she's going to try to finagle it so Julia gets to come because she's now old enough 
She'll be 22 by the time we do the show. Can I put in a request? Yes. Yeah. Um, because we don't do it as often as we should. Right. Uh, for the Friday night before the live show. And this is not going to supersede us from uh, walking the no. quarter and bumping into listeners. Right, all right, right. Can I, can I uh, suggest Thursday night. We, Thursday night. We, Thursday night? Yeah. Well, what's wrong with Friday night? Because Friday we'll be preparing for the show, and I don't want to conflict with our Friday night plans. So we're going to get there Thursday? Yes. I'm going down Thursday. Monday. <laughs> Thursday night. Mm-hmm. Dinner. The dinner. team. Yeah, I love yeah. that. Team dinner. Yes. Just the dinner. Yeah. Just us. Yeah. Just us. Yeah. Team. Just the men. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can we do that? Yes. Just the men. No, oh. no. Oh, the wives else too? are invited too. Oh, I, I just want And there's a anything. Ruby Tuesdays down there that's excellent. I enjoy I great service there. Yeah. The TGI McFridigans. It's going to be fantastic. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I don't think I will have any definitive uh, answer by tomorrow at this time. We are locked in here. For two nights with a option for a third. And if it's, you know, let me tell you what we get over where we are. What I worry about is that uh, where I uh, live is going to be uh, underwater with a lot of uh, roofs blown off. And uh, mm-hmm. talking to our neighbors recently, uh, it's just, it's a scary time. This is the scariest part. And maybe by, Tomorrow when we check in, I will be able to give you more information, but I don't think so. So Now, I know you uh, have the technology in Maine. Do you have a doorbell cam or a ring cam on your home here in yeah, Florida? Yeah, I do. I've got uh, yeah, you I've got the got ring of security. Everywhere. Yeah, so you'll be, able, you'll be able to at least see around the neighborhood then, see a little well, bit. Well, it's also, I think, the easiest way to know when you lose power because you yeah. don't have cameras anymore. Oh, that's true. Know? That's true. Mm-hmm. That's the way it goes. But I'll tell you. You can eat off that patio. We got everything mm. out of there. And uh, what about the, the grill? Cheap, uh, the grill is inside. Is it the really? Wow. Is inside. Mm-hmm. Everything is inside. The only thing that's outside, uh, we've got uh, patio chairs and uh, and sofas. Yeah. That have and we use those fifty pound weights to uh, sit on. That's top. smart. Yeah, that's smart. Good so, to go. But yeah. of course, 150 mile an hour wind gas goes F you. <laughs> F you with that 50 pound wave. Yeah, I think Here I I, they're, they're pretty low slung. I think yeah. you have a chance with That's that. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm. Uh, it's not like a right sale. Right now, if I was to show you a copy of the. And I wish we, Oscar, if I was technologically yes. savvy, I could probably show you some. Well, I can actually. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Uh, I. One of the last things I did today uh, was that I reconfigured. Uh, by the way, there's a there's a shot of my patio. Yeah, right. There. Shutter yeah. Nation, mm-hmm. Shutter Island. Uh, one of the last things I did today was oh. that I configured Shutter Day a uh, a uh, camera Church of Shutter Day to show Saints. down the street from me and to uh, let people know what it's going to look like. So I'm going to see if I can bring that up, and I'll show you. There's not much wind at all. I don't think. At least there wasn't when I checked in uh, earlier today. So I'm bringing that. Oh, there's looks like there's something hanging on my. There you go. There's oh, it's windy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can see the yeah. palm fronds cur- wiggling. Yeah. Curly Q. Yeah. It's okay. Beautiful neighborhood. Luxury by neighborhood, the way. isn't Just it? Go- it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. That's what a long career in radio gets you right there. Okay. Like, As yeah. people who are wondering, screams that, ha- happiness. That's the actual house from the Golden Girls, isn't it? <laughs> it a, does look like the Golden the Girls. House. In the it does. What's in where, the corner of my where camera? Where is Estelle? That? It's a ghost. That's Estelle's eyelash. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's Estelle Getty. Yes, <laughs> that is a that is a frond of some kind that blew into the uh, area. It, or a nervous bird. I mean, it could be anything. Yeah. At that, it's like, yeah, just. <laughs> but I, uh, you know, uh, if there's a collective school of thought, please think of. Uh, Everybody that's uh, over there right now, we're here. We have uh, both the uh, ability and uh, the means to get uh, to a location. Um, uh, a lot of it is is timing, but a lot of it is, is need. And there are people that have to stay. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, was out in the middle of this pouring rain today, and the two uh, guys that uh, do our trash were uh, coming up the street, and I lit them both up and said, thank you for doing this, yeah. and thank you for everything you do. Here's and, myself. Uh, Keep an eye on the yeah, house. Right down to the last. What would you say? Keep an eye on the house. Here's my cell. That's right. Meanwhile, I saw them later, about two hours later, Mike, they were leaving with all of your shutters. Can you? <laughs> can, you if they can get them off in a short order, that's if, if, if you had 
And I always like to think like, oh, thank God that's gone. Remember, you remember at one point in Florida you owned a boat? Yeah. Yes. What would you? When I moved down to Florida, I had a yeah. boat. Uh, what would you do with a boat in this case? Like, I don't even know what you do. You, you take, died well, on it. No, you put it inside. The house? Where yes. I, put it in the that's where I, my boat was small enough where I had it inside. Mm-hmm. It was one. Of, it was what they call a boatel. <laughs> they, oh, that's uh, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know where they come out with the forklift and they lift yeah. them out of the water yeah. and then they... They shoot they should, them over. Yeah. It, is a, it is a really nice facility to have that. It makes I've seen those before. Yeah. Those places get wrecked in hurricane winds. Because mm. yeah. they're prefab aluminum buildings. And they're they tall, over, square like, buildings. I thought yeah. you yeah. would move the boat to a different location. No, I no? wouldn't. No, I don't think so. Could you have used uh, the boat to escape the eye of the the hurricane path? You could have escaped by sea. Ride out, you mean ride it out to sea? <laughs> exactly. Aim for the eye. Exactly. And get out it's there. It's common. And when we were checking in, when we were checking in over here, a couple from Fort Myers Beach, that it, we've been down there. We've done a show down there. Yeah. You guys mm-hmm. know where that mm-hmm. is. That's uh right now anticipating, I believe, a four to seven feet, uh oh. seven foot storm surge. Oh my god. Um, yeah, people are That's in a for scary it, part. You know? That is horrifying. It's sometimes I had the only moment I allowed myself to really think about that eye of that hurricane and the entire United States and where I live. And when you think about that tiny little eye Mm -hmm. of a hurricane and here's where I live, you know, I know I live in Florida and we get hurricanes, but it still makes you, it gives you pause when you think how big the country is. And then you look at this is the first time it's actually close to home at this manner. I I recall broadcasts where you guys were thinking of going to the civic center to, uh, you know, Ride it I, out. I ride it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we in, in, in different storms. Uh, that was Irma when we drove up yeah. to Virginia. I yeah. think that was mm-hmm. the last time we had that, and we did drive up to v- Virginia. So you missed the teddy this bear is toss. Closer to home. That's right. That? You missed the teddy bear toss. That he's year. got an amazing memory, doesn't he? he? He's like like a photograph. I'm going to get off the line. Now, so. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't, you don't want to talk about that. You know, I could I could endure many more minutes of you. <laughs> Him. <laughs> he's he's. Right? Yeah. I'm, late ta- he's, I'm you know what funny. he is, Rob? He, he's late taping Oscar. That's what he is. <laughs> no, I love taping. Late, late in the day Oscar. Oh, blow me. No, yeah, I just anyway. pulled, the te- I, I pulled the teddy bear toss. He did pull the teddy bear toss, but you have to be nice to he's fussy because his shirt is really Oh, my tight. God. These buttons. <laughs> They're going to go off. And those, that's a Category 4 shirt right now. That could take out a chase like, lounge. Rob, how fat do I look in this shirt? Be honest. You know what I? You know I, I. I was thinking about joining you guys, and I'll be back on tomorrow. Okay, good. Uh, with both of you to, uh, you know, to do the opening of the show, and thank you for covering the rest uh, for me. But when I was thinking about this type, of, I knew what kind of broadcast I was going to do with you guys, and so uh, I just wanted to say, uh, Oscar Santana, Rob's big red. <laughs> True Nikki Goodbye, Diamond sir. stuff. Yeah. Good luck to Mike Chow, down there. Chow. Chow, chow. Uh, we'll take a break. Come back. Sure it is we got stuff to talk about. Oh Let's see god. if your buttons make my it. Oh god. No, you look chesty is all. I don't think that's a compliment at this stage of my life. Alright, let me say this. Those stripes have never been less straight. Oh my god. We'll be back after this. Someone said, welcome to the big club, fella. <laughs> it's the Mike O'Mara Show. We're back. Yes, we're back. Oh, back. oh my God, we're back again. Yes, back. So excited you guys are back. Did you miss me? I missed you. No, I missed you. Gee, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. I could just see you, my boy. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. You came back. So whoever said you might not want to, I knew you'd come. You would not come. You could not come. We just wanted to see you. We miss you. Hi, y'all are. I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. Ooh, share the Mike O'Mara Live Show returns to the House of Blues down in New Orleans. That's April 15th, 2023 at 8 p.m. Tickets go on sale on November 1st. And bonus show subscribers, watch your email for some pre-sale ticket advantages. Ooh. Lord. The Mike O'Mara Show live on stage. You gonna love it. Ain't it fiction? Always right with the world. I'm just glad Mike wasn't here to hear that voiceover. Because I bet he could have done it a lot better than me. Oh, I mean, he's in the middle of a hurricane. That's true. That's okay. true. Yeah, we do it. You know, we you do what you out. can, what you can. Harry's. 
Oh, I love Harry's. And Harry's is the absolute best. It's a busy time of year, and the last thing you need is having to run out at the last minute to some overpriced drugstore just because you, Oscar, ran out of mm. razors like a dummy. The solution? Harry's. They deliver right to your door, so you never need to worry. I'm a Harry's guy for life, and I have a lot of real estate that requires shaving. I got the body wash, the razors. Yo, you got Harry's everything. Harry's for life. Yeah, the best shaving cream in the mm. world. Uh, we all are Harry's guys. An amazing price point. Blades that never seem to get dull. That is so true. And the best shaving cream and body wash that you can buy. Right now, you can get your Harry's starter set for just $3. Plus, you'll get a free travel size body wash. The set includes a five-blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover. That's a $16 value for just 3 bucks. Visit harrys.com slash T-M-O-S. Harry's has the highest customer satisfaction rating in the shaving industry, and they're still offering a no-risk trial. If you don't like your shave, no worries. It's on them. So no matter how busy things get, you can stay fresh with Harry's. Get your Harry's starter set today, and you also get that free travel size body wash. Go to harrys.com slash T-M-O-S. That's harrys.com slash T-M-O-S. The best. I've got breaking news for you. Oh, when it feels like breaking? Well, um, for some time now, I've been talking about how this work from home is it seems like it's waning, at least in the D.C. Yeah, area. Yeah, sure. I have zero instinct for what's happening within, I guess, D.C. and the workforce. Oh, why? And I'm, and look, I'm self-aware enough to understand that there's a certain perspective that I have uh-huh. that needs to evolve because I see teams work remotely at a very high level sure. all the time, and I believe that's possible. Yeah. Uh, we in broadcasting are not used to that. No, it's a, I think a lot of creatives need to see each other, need to be in the same room. That's a fair point. I hadn't yeah. thought about that. Yeah. Um, but as I was um, walking home the other day, I'm, lis- I'm listening to a bunch of different podcasts. Sure. And trying to lose some weight. Uh, and Were they weight loss podcasts? No, no, no. no okay. Just, you know, Just the walking. The, the usual, yeah. like the Lincoln Project, the Daily. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh. Let me let me look at this like trajectory of like the workforce where we're at because it affects the economy and where everybody's yeah. at. And I run across an article from the Wall Street Journal that says that DC ranks number one with this work from home hybrid uh, workforce. Number one, as in we have the m- most work from home to non work from home uh, like the balance. So the people are still staying home. Fifty plus percent are still staying home. And they account for like low 50s, right? So let's say 55. Right. Uh, Boston, number two, if I'm not mistaken, LA, number three. Um, in order of how how much percentage of the workforce is working from home and hybrid. Okay. And they- This 50% are these people that are, I'm, I hate to split hairs please. here, but are these the people that were already working from home or overall? Oh, no, this is, these are numbers like, these. Are, this is comparing people that, that this is comparing- Pre-pandemic, okay. To now, so it is overall. Was work from home a big thing before? No, no, I don't remember people saying I get to work from home. The well, most of the people that Pony's did that, been saying it for fifteen years. We just haven't honored yeah. it. <laughs> but you know, outside of Mike working from home, that's right. Um, it wasn't prevalent, right? You're people, you would come right. into the office, uh, and I look. I have no boat from an operating standpoint. You you would think, okay, well, we can take less square footage on if most people are working from home. True. We run a different type of business because of our studio space, studios. Mm -hmm. So there is a a level of like, we need certain square footage. Uh So that doesn't really affect us. What affects my psychology, and I love to get your take on this, is that DC is number one. Mm -hmm. So even like, even the increase that we've seen personally of people walking around and yeah. coming to the office. And traffic, yeah, stuff like that. That's minimal to what the average for for the rest of the country is in big cities. So, hmm. we, and they account for this type of disparity. And for those of you that in D.C. area, you probably don't care. You're like, who cares, Oscar? No, um, I think this applies to any metropolis. Is that it's the nonprofits and the government entities. Ah. Right? Right. So- because I know ESPN's back at work, yeah, um, and at least a flex flex work, but but I sit here at, like the upside from having work from home is you can get talent from around the country, sure, which is great mm-hmm. uh, for any business. But and, and as someone that's never worked from home, mm-hmm. not because I didn't want to, it just that just wasn't available. It wasn't an option, and for it wasn't you. an option. Um, 
I don't, like, I don't know what I'm missing out on. How was it like working from home for you? It was and weird. And I've never really asked you. It was really weird. And you know what? The one thing, I think DC probably ranks higher than other cities because in addition to all the other factors yes. they share, we not only have the rotten traffic, but we have our suburbs go way out. Yeah. There is a lot of area that has to be covered for oh. some people that work in the city. So I would think they might be a little more active towards trying to work at home because it's saving them the drive and the gas yeah, and I love the tolls. It. You save two hours in, in a commute. I get it. Yeah. Productivity. It makes sense. Right? Yeah. Then you come out and like, this is not, I'm not the man, though I technically I am. But as in the man, as in- The boss man? The, the, as in like corporate America, the yeah. man, that mm-hmm. lens. You've got- um, You've got- the CEO of Microsoft coming out saying that, hey, like we took a poll mm-hmm. and 80% of the of the employees at Microsoft say we're much more productive at home. And then the management team, at, we took, they took a separate poll from the management teams at Microsoft that said, hey, like we don't think 80, 80 plus percent, same percentage around that area matching, say that they don't think their teams are as productive from home. Right. So it's a management and versus employees, employee, employees, and the 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 CEO of Microsoft says, "Hey, like I get that. I'm just giving you the data. Yeah, we need to figure out how to get this Gen Z, this 30 percent that will be the future of our company, to reengage in this world of of coming to the office. It's weird, and I'll tell you what the thing that really threw me when we were doing it when the longest stretch I did at home was, uh, gosh, I guess from like March." of 20 yeah uh till we it was almost a year we it was did a that. little over a year yeah and it was weird because i was still doing other stuff mm-hmm. and so the day wasn't over when we finished we were doing more yeah we're still then. working yeah so but when we would you know do a show and have some words and then you and i would maybe talk business yeah. for maybe five ten minutes and then you click disconnect you're just in your home. You're staring at your dog. You're staring at your dog. Yeah. And it's weird. Carrie I, was home. Yeah. But, she was hiding upstairs. Well, no, she was upstairs. She was doing her stuff uh, virtually as well. She yeah. was teaching yeah, virtually. That's right. And uh, Robert was learning school yeah. virtually. And Julia was doing college yeah. virtually. We were all in different corners of the house. But as far as like someone to talk without sounding highfalutin, trad- like professional issues yeah. with, yeah. there's no one there. And when you Except turn that it, bottle, yeah, well, Man. yeah. So uh, basically, what you're saying is you killed me. <laughs> no, I didn't no, no. Home. I know, but here, but I never drank during the day. That's all. Never, uh, never I, on the I, company. I, time. I, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done making jokes. I'm just happy you're alive. <laughs> I am too, uh, Matt Blue. But yeah, it was yes. very, it was very weird. And I can see management's. I'll just put a button yeah. on this for a second, Matt. I can see management's point because you are pre-programmed, and if you've worked at a company for a while. Home is your, you know, that's where you go to escape. That's your refuge. Yes. And if you turn off your computer and all of a sudden that's where you are, you're probably not going to be as motivated. I, I don't know. I don't. This is what's crazy is I don't know who's right. It's hard to say. I don't. I feel Cause like. Because I also have a, there's a big plus thing for no distractions. If you have just work to do. Yeah, but if you're like a dog person, you love hanging out with your. your, your My Linus. Your Linus. Yeah. I was going to say Luna, but that's the boarding dog you yeah. guys have. Yeah, she's sweet um, too, though. Linus, like it's nice to have him around. It's very right? nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's, there's so many. If you have kids, you get to watch your kids, see them grow up. Mm-hmm. Um, if you, if you, if, if that's what you want, like I know a lot of dads that I've talked to lately. Um, they're like, I'm happy to go back to the office, but I'm glad I had these two years to see my children grow up. I could see it being a very different situation if you had infants at home as opposed to what I had yeah, was inf- older infants, teenagers. Infants, yeah. Infants. I mean, if it was infants, you know, you'd want to be a part of that. The kids avoided me equally before or after the <laughs> pandemic. So, I mean, they practiced social distancing as soon as they turned 13. It, it's, <laughs> it still feels like we're in a movie. It is like, weird, it, it still, isn't it? Even even counting back the years since we've been in, we were in New Orleans. Yeah, I was like, that's right. Two of those years we didn't have shows, right? Because of COVID, um, and it was the blip from the Marvel universe. Mm-hmm. And now we're back. Yeah, I'm sorry. You wanted to ask Pony. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, well, Matt, uh, yes. I'll, I'll stick aside. I know you you hate the commute. You hate the world. Uh, he also hates being funny, so he we don't have to worry about this stuff. Okay. Um, just your perspective. That, like, I remember times I was calling you and I didn't really, 
I'm happy that you found some sort of happiness and equilibrium in your life. But I, I would catch him like out of breath. And I'm like, oh, what are you doing? He goes, I'm going for a run. Like yeah. two, two in the afternoon. Um, and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm just working on these TPS reports. When you get a time, can you please jog back to your home? <laughs> run to your computer. And then repost what was misposted <laughs> before you went on your jog. Yeah. He's running. He's running. Mm. Well, you know, I, I think you this talk was, now, Matt. Yeah, this is when you talk off. I, I think it was a for me. It was like the best time of my life ever because, like, the number one thing that I hate more than anything in the world is Oscar? commuting and sitting in traffic. And Uh-oh. two is two is Oscar, but yeah. number one is <laughs> number one is definitely uh, sitting in traffic. It, it like all of my anxiety and depression and stress resolve around uh, revolve around that. And it it's even with those nice crushing. cars you drive. It, you is, know, is Jay Leno like a, yeah. a collection of automobiles? I've seen him. Yeah. When, when you're sitting in one spot staring at someone else's bumper, yeah, it, it's, but yeah, it's, it helps. It's, it's not it as help. bad. It's not as bad as it was before. Traffic has gotten worse. I'll give you that. Yeah. That, but when you were cruising in here, you're still miserable. Yeah, I mean, it, it like anytime I'm in a car for more than like. 25 30 minutes i start feeling yeah. miserable and i just start getting anxiety and it just it sucks that's or, why he didn't drive to japan it's all, are, <laughs> yes are so you, that was the main reason um are you at all do you see your friends going back or what's the story there no no i mean all my friends home? are working from home still that's wild yeah i just saw i just i don't know I like i just my I've, mom is still doing you know she worked for she works a four-day week she does two at home two at the office yeah, the hybrid's fine. I just, I was shocked. That article just came out yesterday mm-hmm. that ranked DC number one hybrid. That surprises me based on the way, and you know what? I have to, I have to concur with you. To look around the city, the city looks a lot like it did before the pandemic. Yeah. There's crowds. There people, and, like there's actually restaurants still open. Yeah. And then uh, that rolled me into another podcast about city planning. Apparently, New York City, not a 24-hour city anymore. What? Because people, like- for d- various reasons, monkeypox. One, no, one of them happens to be crime. Yeah, but uh, restaurants that used to be open twenty four hours a day, they just can't find enough people to work the restaurant, so they close like at ten or eleven. That sucks. So imagine you're Don and Mike days in New York, and you walk out now, and all the places you thought were going to be open are closed. I wouldn't wake up with bruises anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to all the time. I said, I wonder what happened oh, there. I'll shake that one off. <laughs> Maybe that's my band aid from last night. It could be. Could um, be. The, <laughs> the one in the hall. The one in the hall. It's actually yours. Do you, do you, like, I just hearing that about New York is, is and I'm not a New York guy. That's wild. So I was like, I was like, I, I, the one thing you loved about New York City, you could order Chinese food at three in the morning and, you just, could. and everything was open. Absolutely. Now restaurants aren't open. That's so it's, God, that's, that's, that's like science fiction. I can't even right? imagine that. Crazy. Yeah, it is nuts. But Matt, it was meant to be a bummer. I just was more no, no, asking no. you guys. I'm curious, to, Matt. Do you enjoy it all? Take traffic out of it, and I'll take traffic out of it too, because I'm no great okay. fan of it either. I mean, you have to sort of resign yourself to it. And the way I see it is, I'm not. It's not like they're targeting hey, every, everybody me. Everybody has traffic. Yeah, yeah, everyone has to deal with it. But if you take the traffic out of it, do you like being here around people? Yeah, you know, I I think that was hesitation. I think I know. the best the yeah. best way to go is the the hybrid schedule where you're working from home like half of the week, right? Because you you get the best of both worlds, and it it just I think it's a lot less stressful knowing that you're not going to have to sit in that giant traffic jam every single day. Well, it gives you something to look forward to, which yeah, is exactly, nice. Exactly, exactly. But you are so needed around here. You are well liked even around yeah, here. Yeah, you're like. Oh yeah, you're, I mean, you're you're what is it? Uh, what 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 do they used to tell us in radio all the time? Personnel only. It was uh, the the people that would have to stay. Oh oh oh! It was, uh, it was like essential always a term. essential personnel. Essential only, personnel. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're just telling us to come in on a snowstorm. <laughs> right. We get it. We yeah. get it. It's everybody. We're gonna put you up in the comfort inn. Yeah, Four to a room. You're essential. <laughs> you're essential. <laughs> You, it's the skeleton staff, it's all of us. But uh, but I mean, you are an essential part of what goes here yeah. on here at Podville, yeah. and a I, lot of I mean, IP addresses. Do you love? I mean, do you like? And don't hesitate. Be honest. I mean, do you like working among people, or would you prefer if you didn't have to be on your onesies all day? 
you, it's hard to it's okay. explain. It won't hurt my feelings. No, it won't hurt mine either. It's fine. It, it, well, I, I mean, it's answer. not that I don't like people. It's it, just that I have a certain amount. It's like it's I have right. a certain amount of gas in the tank for like how much socializing I can do in a day. And once that runs out. So you mean out, like at the end of the day, you're not dazzling like you are right now? No. <laughs> I'm, what I'm saying is that like I, my this, batteries have to recharge this guy, a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. I love you, man. I do too. This guy has hacked the system. He has. I walked into his office that he now shares with my wife. Really her office. Um, and He's like a border. And I'm looking at. And I appreciate the time he's put in, but I'm looking at a repost of a video that we were, we sweetened the audio on. Right? Okay. Just, just, and I mm -hmm. appreciate him doing that. And I see that the button says 100% uploaded, uh, like I, the widget that pops up. Yeah, yeah. And then there's still a button to hit post. He hasn't done that yet? Matt's left the building. And <laughs> Shannon, I said, this says post. Do you think he posted it? I, that looks like a button you have to push to post. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I recognize this interface. And she said, why would he just leave? So we call him on speaker. Yes. Not mad, but hey, must have forgotten. Yeah, was he running? No, he said he's in the car. He's like, yeah, yeah, no, no big deal. Um, I was going to post it when I get home. Um, so we're like, okay. He goes, yeah, I'll just uh, remote into my machine and post. So he could not wait the minutes it took for this video to upload. How long does it take to upload We have that? a fiber line, for I God's sakes. If you were to wait uh, here, how long would it have taken? Probably about like 20 minutes, that 20, is a, 25 a, a liar, minutes. Liar, liar. Five minutes. He couldn't wait. No, he figured he'd make the most of that time to get on the road and get home. Even if it's YouTube 10, is fast. Which I get. Facebook is not. I, I get that. I get, that's fine. I get that. But the fact that you just left it like that, like the janitor could have come in and knocked your keyboard. Yeah. Anything's possible. You should at least say, well, hey. you were such a gloomy Gus. What about the optimism? What if the janitor came in and hit the post button? Yeah. Hey, uh, this uh, <laughs> looks like mi amigo Mateo uh, servido uh, tocar el, el botón. Yo lo voy a hacer para él. Um, no. Mateo left and said he'll check in afterwards. You at least have to say, hey, machine's running. Don't touch it. Right. Or, uh, or a sticky note. I post it. Uploading. Yeah. That's a good idea. I Thank will do you. that in the future. <laughs> You know what? That must that that validation must feel good. Oscar. Oh my god! And the, I was expecting a Hammond and Holland in America. Today we had a breakthrough. Now, <laughs> last before we close it up, I'm curious. You did a couple days at home when you had the COVID. Yeah, that and was that, glorious. And that and what, what was your feeling on that? My feeling was, I that's the first time I got it to enjoy my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I was able to take the dog to the dog park with yeah. a mask on. You know, I don't know if that's allowed, but we did. Well, uh, dogs don't like masks. I you know. Oh, you were wearing. Them I was wearing them. Okay, um, now I get and, it. And I and we and we didn't we didn't we walked around just we were able to walk around during the day. Sure, it was it was fine, but like, I don't know. I'm not built for remote. I'm built for like I want to be there when S goes sideways to fix it. Yeah, especially I mean it's it's weird when we did for so long. We did the show from three different states, yeah, but at least you had like a core team. Yeah. In D.C. where the nerve center was. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. And then Matt at home, like being able to remote in and try to do, you know, do his best on his line. Maddie eventually uh, moved in because she said that she they had just sick of uh, their marriage. They might be getting married soon. I don't know what the story is. If they're still <laughs> together. But at that point, she had been with Johnny her boyfriend Mac? and she's just staring at him 24 seven and the cat. She said, can I come in? Uh, and I said, that, that is up to you. That is, I can't make she those needed choices. Out. Yeah, they were in a you know, small one bedroom. Woman of action. So um, once she got in, it got a little easier. But I, I, it, it's, it's, I'm, 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 I hate to even talk about those times. Yeah. But that article and that report about New York City not being that's, open 24 that's hours really a day weird. anymore. That's weird for me. That, it's, 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 it's the new times, right? Yeah, it has. Things have changed. Like after, what is it? After COVID, after AC. AC? AC. Well, P, I'll think air conditioning if you say that. Yeah. How about PC, post -COVID? But isn't it AD? Anno Domini? No. Like after? Anno Domini. It means, after the, it means essentially after Christ, doesn't What's it? What's PD? PD is a program director, and he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad we, we finished that up. <laughs> Just remember, never trust management. I think that's yeah. what we, that's our get take. The, uh, get your new vaccine. Okay, Carrie hurt my feelings. I can't wait. Yeah, I'll tell you about it. It, it, it. it sparked something in me. We'll discuss it when we come back. Carrie, uh, who's still coming down off her birthday weekend. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back after this.
It is a brand new profile picture of Rob Spiewak. Doesn't look anything yeah. like you. A new online conspiracy theory suggests that TMOS regular Rob Spiewak was secretly replaced in March of 2022. He suddenly disappeared from the show, and when he returned, he was replaced by a man whose facial features resembled Spiewak. He was nearly 100 pounds thinner than the original Rob. Audio evidence online shows clear backward masking that is cleverly added to the end of every TMOS bonus show. Just take a listen. This is Mike O'Mara's... I buried Rob. I buried Rob. Make up your own mind. Get a bonus show subscription and listen closely for more clues. Is it the real Rob or a Speedwag imposter? It's me. Hello. Hello. Uh, you know, we all love our Rothies. They're the best shoes in our closet, and you're going to love them, too, because they are insanely comfortable. Rothy's feel broken in from day one. Got them on right now. What, which one I did you I bought a wearing? second pair. I bought the, oh, the black pair so cool. of the sneaker. Yes. And um, let me tell you, I know you're like, well, Oscar, these are a little uh, pricier than usual shoes. Pay but, it. But when I tell you that I've had these shoes for a year, wash them twice. Look how glowing white they are. And this isn't like, I'm going to wash my sneakers. They won't work. I've, everyone's done that before. Yeah. No, these, they do these it. These get washed and they feel brand new. They look great. Uh, their soft, flexible material and wildly, wildly comfortable insoles make them the most wearable shoes right out of the box. And he was just saying, if you hate dirty sneakers, Rothy's are machine washable. They're knit with 100% recycled materials. Even the laces are made from plastic water bottles. So it's no wonder that Rothy's best-selling men's shoes get a five-star review from almost every customer. Yeah. And I'll say this. I never get complimented on footwear. Never. No. And but I, but, but I, it's not... It's, I guess maybe I should... The styling's great, right? Oh, Your yeah. driving loafers, awesome. Well, no, but I was going to say the boots. The boots are great, too. I get people say, those are awesome. The, what are those? The sneaker replay factor. Yes. And by that, I mean being able to wash them and they're, they look like they're brand new. Yes. Blows my mind. Yeah. And I've seen Robert sit on the deck with a toothbrush because he was a shoe head for a yeah, while. You don't have to do I, that. No, I don't have to do it. And to top it all off, the driving loafer, which I also love, was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Best Inventions of 2021. And it was called the Ideal Shoe for the late pandemic era. You got to see these shoes. And there's a lot of new boots available if you go to the Rothy's Next website. Gen. Just go and shop it. You'll love it. This season... Find out why people fall hard for Rothy's with new shoes, bags, and more for everybody. You can snag something for yourself or someone you love. For a limited time, get 20 bucks off your first purchase at rothys.com slash TMOS. That's $20 off rothys, R-O-T-H-Y-S dot com slash TMOS. You will love them. Now, um, Carrie changed her profile picture on Facebook. Oh, let me look. And um, she looks beautiful. She looks dynamite. I I know that she was a little hesitant to embrace what the changes of the plastic surgery did. Let me see if she, I, this is the first time I'm going to be okay. able to see her in full glory. Okay, you're going to go to her page. Yeah, and I'm it on is, her page now. It is her profile. Holy page. yes! Doesn't she look beautiful? My God! Yeah, right. She looked beautiful before. She did. She looks, if I may. Yes. I mean, this is a thirst trap she posted. <laughs> America, if you're friends with her, it looks like she's not even clothed. Yeah, I know. If you, uh, if she, you, she knows she's married, right? Yeah, she does. I, I, I remind her occasionally. I come home most nights, and that's, that's always a reminder. Yep. She is wearing a shirt in that, by the way. Barely can barely tell. Can barely can tell. Barely can this tell. looks like, I mean, I, I look, I'm a confident man. Yes. And I'm sure my wife will leave me one day just because, you know, just, just to show you. And uh, the lack of affection on my end. Yes. I'm prepared for that. It's going to hurt, but yeah. when it happens, it happens. She looks great. That's your a... wife. Mm-hmm. Your wife. My wife. This this is not appropriate for a happy marriage. Well, she's happy, and that makes me happy. Okay. But I just want to I say mean, that she, so to say. she is as lovely as she was the day I met her. I, that's the right thing to say, but this picture, this, this, it's, uh, you can say, sus. It's not sus at all. But anyway. Pony, are you seeing this thing? I just saw it. Right. It's um, it's a thirst trap. It's something. Yeah, it's someone's, something else. Someone's thirsty. So she and is. Carrie. She looks great. And when we went I'm out, I'm not going to say it for what because I, I respect my friend. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's really not the point of the story. <laughs> mm. She does look good. And we went out to uh, see that comedy show over the weekend. Thirsty. We saw the David Keckner, All the water you want. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to. I want to put it on a poll and say thirst trap. Yeah or nay. Stop it. America. Don't put it on any no, sort no, of no, poll. No, no, no. I will respect. P o l l or p o l e. 
She doesn't belong on a pole. I mean, if Carla put a picture like that up, yes, I would. I would tell Mike that's a thirst trap. Okay, well, it's not. Well, I mean, it's she looks you, good. The, the, the top is not a top. That is. That's two spaghetti straps. If you think that it's not, then it's yeah. not. That's right. Thank you, yeah. Pony. We always agree <laughs> on strategy. So I was looking and telling her how good she looked, and she looked great when we went to that comedy show, and she was looking at the yeah. pictures after the fact. And I, I said, don't you see how good you look? You look great. Yeah, she looks beautiful. Really, really fine. And she says, yeah, look at you. I said, what about me? She says, you've lost so much weight. You look old. <laughs> Well, uh, Carrie, in, in fairness to you, I agree. Uh, you're right. Um, he, I know, but you don't want to no, hear it. He's infirmed, um, <laughs> no, not and he's infirm. and he's fighting his way back to life. <laughs> yes, there is an ashen tone uh, to his uh, you know, palate that we try to warm up with lights here in the studio. Yes, when I walk into his turkey and carrot uh, buffet, <laughs> bonanza, bonanza in his office. <laughs> It looks like Casper, the friendly ghost, is having a meal. Yes. I'm just happy my friend is here. Yes. And living and working. But the, she snapped, they, they snapped a photo of myself and her and David Keckner yeah. and Rob Mayer. And I looked at it and I said, I do look old. I well, look old. You, it's, it's, it's not skinny. You look great, right? Yeah. The, the weight is definitely it's, gone. It's, um, if there was a way, and I think this ha- probably has to do with, uh, you know, your overall state of health at the moment. Sure. But. We've all hit hit that little uh, vibrance or like uh, uh, within our iPhones or your phones. Yeah. We hit that one button that gives you a little more color. Yeah. If we had that for you, we'd hit it every day. Like in real life? Yeah. A real life vibrance button? Like a a little more skin tone to enhance his his pigment. Yeah, the vivid. The vivid vivid button. We need need a vivid button for your life. So not the video company. No, no, no. no, no, I was thinking I hit that button and they didn't deliver me any We need a saturation meter on your skin tone. Saturation. Outside of the studio. (laughs) Or, so, or a full like full tripod of uh, of lights following you around because in real life you are you were grayish you were less gray than you were a month ago. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm bouncing. I'm bouncing right like, back. You went tubing and it it it, it seemed like you were telling us a lie because there, <laughs> there was no color on you. <laughs> it looked like a bag of flour out like, this the tube. Guy, yeah. This guy stayed indoors all weekend. He didn't go tubing. So anyway, she said I look old. So I start looking at it and I realize, you know what? I'm not a vain man. Yeah. So I need to do what I can to yeah. improve what Dye I got. Dye your beard. You're going to look great. Well, no. I've actually, I have purchased, and Mike has given me crap about this in the past. And this will be fun because you can track the progress of this. Can't wait. I have purchased Crest 3D White Strips. For tooth whitening. Oh, uh, that's no brainer, no brainer. You can because, get better than paying the dentist because that's expensive. Yeah, well, these are painful. not these are not cheap either. No, I no, mean, no. but the thing is, is that I no longer drink wine. Yeah, I no longer drink any sort of caffeinated yeah. beverage. My teeth, if I get them white, they'll stay white. I'm except he- unless carrots can dye them orange. I'm here for the glow up. The glow. Up. Yeah, I'm here for it. <laughs> you think it's gonna work? I think it could work. So. I will start that tonight. You have good teeth. I have if, fine if, teeth. So yeah. were, were they yellow in the picture? Um, my teeth are a little yellowed. Uh, and But what happened is, no, it's not that picture. I know. I just keep looking at your wife. I Thirst know. Trap. I see what you're looking at. I'm so at. sorry. But, the, uh, but there was a, one of the Vegas trips, there was a picture of me and Zoolander that was taken. And I, that, but that that was doctored up. That was, that, that was, that was great. Your wife in her profile pictures, by yes. the way, has uh, 0.0 pictures of you and her. Oh, I know. I know. Oh. There's just a lot of her. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Man, it's like she she deleted you from her life. Not yet. I'm still coming home. Locks haven't been changed. <laughs> <laughs> as far as we know. At least one. One obligatory I'm married. Nothing. Well, I think it maybe it, does she have like highlighted pictures? No. All right, Any keep, pictures of the kids? There's one of her, her and another man, her cousin, I guess. This is another cousin. No, that's a guy from uh, Iowa named Scott. Okay, well that's She's very affectionate to him. Scott. Oh, there you are. Yeah. There you are, from 2011. Yeah, I, I still had long hair. There are 59 pictures in her profile pic. You're on picture 41 of 59. Well, do me a favor. Yes. Keep looking. <laughs> we'll take a break. We got to do a quick break, and then we got sound time coming up. But remember, Crest. Crest. 3D white they, they strips. Work. They do? They do. I can't wait. Yes, and they're three-dimensional. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. My teeth ma- are going to start growing there's a, out? There's a 3D marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Just witnessed Jesus. I'm pretty sure that was an insult. And now, some <laughs> sentimental thoughts from the mind of Oscar Santana. It may never be the same, but no. it's going to get hard. I'm 
not a smart man. It's gonna get harder and it's gonna get worse. Keep it real, real dumb. When it gets harder, you get going. Are you stupid or something? I mean, it might be worse now, but it's gonna get harder. Stupid as a stupid does. You was a dummy. The Mike O'Mara bonus show is an extra yes. hour of comedy and thought-provoking oh, insights <laughs> every week. <laughs> and while ordering the TMOS the bonus show is as easy as clicking the banner at MikeOmeraShow.com, rest assured, it's gonna get harder and it's gonna get worse. I mean, it, uh, when it gets harder, you get going. Uh, it may never be the same, but it will get harder. Order now. Ah. <laughs> you should do what Carrie does. What? She gives her phone number to every Uber driver. No. Yeah. That's interesting. Call me up. Here's, here's my profile pic. <laughs> this is a picture of my husband yeah. 12 years ago. Yeah. Are you getting back into your normal routine? If you do, you know it feels great to get back to, back to normal. But managing meal prep on all of the chores that cool weather brings, not so great. Skip all the mealtime stress with Freshly. Freshly's got lunch and dinner covered with fresh. And, you know, technically it could be breakfast, too. Anytime I mean, I've had food. Freshly's anytime. Sure. Go time. Uh, with fresh Some may say too many. <laughs> I would never say that. Freshly gives you fresh made meals delivered right to your door. And now for a limited time, you can unlock exclusive end of summer savings and get $125 off your first five orders. They're designed by nutritionists, prepared by chefs, and they fit your lifestyle with plans tailored to every dietary preference. I love that they are delivered fresh, not frozen. Yeah. I'm a food guy. I, I, I can't I can't stress this enough. You can decide what color, what kind of food you want, mm. calorie intake. You're on a certain diet. Uh, I, I, I most times will ask my wife if she's gonna eat her freshly because mm-hmm. I've been eyeballing it for a while as well. Yeah. Um, they're they're delicious. And uh, they uh, just three minutes in the microwave. That's it. Done. No prep. It's good. Oscar loves freshly no too. No kitchen needed. I know that you've been digging the Cuban microwave. Mojo shrimp, or is it Moho shrimp? Ah, I think it's Mojo. Mojo. Get your Mojo going like with the it. Cuban Mojo shrimp. Having one less thing on your plate never tasted so good. Take advantage of Freshly's end of summer sale and score a special deal. 125 bucks off your first five orders at Freshly.com slash TMOS when you order today. That's Freshly.com slash TMOS. Freshly.com slash TMOS for $125 off your first five orders. Do so it. Very good. And uh, I hate to monopolize the talk of my family, but yeah. I got a text during that. Oh, what happened? Uh, Julia, you know. Oh, I thought it was your wife. No, well, she. I'm leaving you. <laughs> no. This profile pic worked. Ka-ching! Winner! No, I, don't, I want you to be happily married. I, I just want to be happy. I uh, mean, whatever well, it takes. A divorce would be good for the show. Though. It would be great for Bring the show. Heat. But um, Julia, you know. She's in her technically her senior year, so yeah. she's taking all these art classes. She's all grown up. Um, glass Grown's blowing up. and glass design is yeah. what she's doing. She just got a critique of a number one, which is the highest grade you can get. Her uh, her uh, project was she made glass anthuriums, which are those red flowers that you see in Hawaii mm-hmm. all the time. But look at this beautiful project oh, she did. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. So, and I yeah. I, I doubt you can see it, but anyway, yeah. uh, she made fake glass flowers among real flowers, and she's actually. In there with the red hot molten glass, yeah, making what do, this what do you stuff. Think they're doing. I don't know. It's, it's, it's you know, it seems a much more effective education than WVU offers somehow. Yeah, uh, he could probably take those classes. I don't know. He that, hasn't found his passion yet. I know if he could blow glass, what he'd make. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a gravity bong, guys. <laughs> Look, it took me six weeks to sneak this out of the it's kiln. Pieces at a time. Yes. My professor didn't know, crystal. didn't know we were making this. I use a lot of extra material. I want to call it the crippler. I bet. You know what? I bet the WVU glass blowers make more mugs than bongs. Because I think a glass blown bong would do better in Richmond. I think that's more the no, neighborhood. No, no. It's just, it, you, I remember seeing a three story bong. Yes. Uh, it, at WVU. Really? That was carried by, it was like, um, uh, what was the, what are those elves? Uh, the legacy of uh, the Keebler is, elves? No, no, the elves from from the Amazon show. Um, oh God! Uh, oh, that's your show. You watch all that stuff. Yeah, I don't like it. I gave up on the dragon there's a, show. There's too. a name for like uh, people that take care of things. There's like uh, caretakers. No, it's <laughs> you see, pony. The people this that take care English, of things were English. Are caretakers. Um, <laughs> there, there's who uh, who are guys. the Freemasons? Like, what is their what are their group? They're like like uh, a fraternity or a no, uh, a secret society. They are a secret society. Hey, okay, that's a close. brotherhood. It's a, it's a it's a brotherhood of of the bong where they carry the bong <laughs> from its like origin home where yes. it lives to the party 
to, almost like the Olympic torch. Yeah, to take care of making sure that it's clean. It's been uh, it's, it's been, decent. It's decent. It's been secured. So when someone is on that second floor window or a third floor party window, they actually get the right hit. Like someone's up. It, it, I, the amount of engineering that goes into this in transport alone is like the Hubble telescope before it went to space. They had to clear the roads. Man. Except you see all these hippies walking up hills. Robert, choose a major and don't do it in glass blowing. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. Very good. But remember. Well, thank you for getting me to brotherhood. The people. I had well, I was just trying to help yeah. out. Keep in mind, everyone who graduates from the WVU puppet making program gets a job. They're very proud of it. <laughs> that was actually something they said on the tour. Well, puppet making uh, Jim Henson, University of Maryland. Yes, exactly. Well, he, he couldn't get into WVU. No. He said, through the story, bye. That was supposed to be Kermit. It wasn't, I suppose. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. You're just shaking your head. And remember, if you take care of something, you are a caretaker. Greetings to my to get father. Me in, has he got a condo or does he have an apartment? They call him Condo really? Bob. Hello, I'm Condo Bob. <laughs> I once saw Condo Bob bowl a perfect game while receiving a colonoscopy. Best damn management consultant in the firm. He had to have his feet registered as deadly weapons in the state of Delaware. Condo Bob has fathered every male child in Indonesia since 1985. In the wintertime, snow will not accumulate on his walkway out of respect. To Condo Bob! Yeah. Condo Bob! Condo Bob does all of his shopping through the TMOS Shopping Center. One click and he gets what he wants. While everyone else has to click the banner at mycomarashow.com, Condo Bob simply orders his items through the power of his mind. Got a condo made of stoner. My pop, he lost current. That's what they say on the Eastern Shore when they have a power outage. He lost oh. current. Uh, but he's ba- he was back. They had some storms the uh, day before yesterday. So huh. Feels a uh, little... I mean, not a hurricane, right? No, 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 no. Just a thunderstorm? Just a thunderstorm. Things are a little different on the Eastern Shore. Infrastructure. Yeah, (laughs) infrastructure indeed. With the housing market facing an especially cold winter, can home buyers gain the upper hand, Oscar? Yeah, I think it's possible. Well, according to my good friend Mark Livingstone at Cornerstone First Financial, having the right mortgage lender can give you that advantage. The lender you work with can make the difference between celebrating a new home versus kicking, losing your dream home and kicking yourself because lending has changed a lot. And whether you're a first time home buyer or a veteran investor, you need a team that will get to know your specific situation and get you the absolute best deal and program. Cornerstone First Financial continues to wow their clients with their low rates, ease of underwriting, and speed to the closing table. It's no wonder they continue to be voted one of the best year after year. So even if you're working with another mortgage company, use them as a sounding board to make sure you're getting the best deal. Plus. They are our friends, and that's God's honest truth. Call Cornerstone First Financial today, the number one mortgage company of TMOS 202-625-1221. That's 202-625-1221 or cornerstonefirst.com. And I know somewhere I have this. Sound. 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 We call this stereophonic sound. If you moved away, you'd have no commute. That's what I could live here. Technically, yes. Well, you know, I could. My office. I'd have to like black out the windows. They're turning the Peace Corps, the old Peace Corps uh, headquarters around the corner here. Yeah, into condos. Are they really? It's crazy. Wow. It's like uh, something in the neighborhood. Turning everyone. There's no commute because there's no commute. That's right. Just walk you to work. Walk right around. Walk right. Pony, you should live with the Peace Corps. Oh, that sounds uh, like a blast. And me and you could share a room. Oh, even Not better. The, they're remodeling them into luxury condominiums. No, no, no. It's two bunks made of plywood. No, I'm sure hostile. they'll be affordable. I got top. Um, I bought this. Yeah, there's Pony. <laughs> sure they'll be affordable. Uh, uh, I hate, and you know what? I don't like the Peace Corps, and I don't like affordable Who housing. Who wants peace? <laughs> yeah. No, no peace. No peace? What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do your sounds. You, you know what? He's, he's scared of traffic. You <laughs> gave him. You gave him too yeah, much good. to work with. Too much. All right. Uh, you love your NASA. You love your outer space. Yeah. And yesterday, NASA successfully blew up an asteroid the size of a football stadium. This is big news. Big with a, news. With something the size of a Coke machine. Yes. Which is pretty amazing. Now I have a question for you before I play the sound. Please. Does this mean there's an asteroid headed towards us they haven't told us about yet? <sighs> that is that is the billion dollar question. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, play the sound. NASA was able. Th- th- there's no great explosion here, but they actually were able to destroy an asteroid the size of a football stadium. It's called Dimorphos. Looks to me like we're headed straight in. Oh my goodness! Eight, yeah. Seven, oh, six, wow. five, four. 
three, two, one. Oh, wow. We're getting visual confirmation. That's pretty amazing. That's the stuff well, they've been talking about for 40 years. It's Armageddon without Bruce Willis. I'm glad you said that because I did a remix that I think Please. actually works better of that tape. I think you'll like this. It says, like, looks to me like we're headed straight in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. All right. And we have to <laughs> I can't top that. Uh, that technology and that, that experiment alone. Could save our not just the planet, yeah, yeah. our entire species. And I, I really feel that with all that said, NASA needs a better social media director because they really should have put the Aerosmith song. Hey, on this the could tape. have been great. Yeah. Don't want to miss a thing. All right, so well, think about what's happened this year, right? All the rocket, like the, Pony the, came uh, back out, to work outside of space, SpaceX, yeah. and the returning rocket boosters. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've got uh, was the, uh, the James Webb telescope, right? right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you have, I know that we have a launch pending on, on um, in uh, Florida, right? Um, from NASA, but then you have this. That's pretty amazing. This is, I mean, the fact that you can bat, there's a battering ram for anything now, right? This is great. I love it. I love it. I think you know what. Even me, who is not all you that into space, space, I think that's very cool. Now, Aaron Judge continues to chase home run number 61 to tie himself with Maris. And last night, he was at the Blue Jays Stadium, and they did an intentional walk because they want to win the game, mm-hmm. right? And so the fans were not having any of it. His and mom Judge was in the stands, too. Walk. You could get mad at the manager all you want, but he's playing for something now. Yeah. If Alex Cora did this, you have a, a real reason to get angry, but he's trying to win this game to get to the playoffs. His mom kind of amused and frustrated. Just think what you, back at home, and how frustrated you're feeling that you don't get a chance to see Judge, and then think that's her son, and she's watching every single at bat, waiting for him to do something so special and so probably times it by a million by what you're feeling at home first of all if you're paid to talk don't say times it by a million thank you second of all do you suppose when he got home that day his mom was like you couldn't have at least swung at it no you could no. have swung at it Aaron. This, is, this is beyond <laughs> that if i'm in the stands i'm upset because it's a two million dollar ball yeah you want to see it yeah, yeah well, you want to see it if it's in my direction yeah and i'm there i'm not you know i like uh, i respect the kids that gave back the six uh number 60 yeah, um, and said, "Hey, uh, we're good to go. Like you did, uh, you've done a ton for the game. Appreciate the the work you've done to the." Didn't they get like a jersey and a refillable yeah, they got some, cup? Some some, um, some some signed bats. Yeah, this ball sixty one is two is like already been placed. A bid is in two million dollars. And you know what? He'll get as much mm. for ball sixty two as well. Home run sixty two because that's the one that actually breaks it too. Because sixty one will tie it, and sixty two no, no, will be the no no no. I'm almost positive. I th- 60 I th- tied it and 61 breaks it. No, it's 61. 61 Don't is Maris's record. you double check that, please? 61 is Maris's record because it happened in 1961. Well, I, I, I let, we're both not uh, baseball guys I here. saw I the I, movie. I, I don't want to walk away I saw the HBO from this the, right now. The with, I feel I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. Which one's $2 million? Well, I'm, I'm saying that the, 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 the tie-breaking ball and the ball that actually... The tie-breaking ball is the one he got back. No, I don't think so. I think why 61. would he care about that ball then? Because I mean, they're all part of the chase. Oh no, no! It oh. looks like sixty-one is the record. Sixty-one. That's sixty. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, but he's going to hit sixty-one. That's right, and then he'll tie with Maris. No, 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 no. Tony, 60. what do you have there? Yeah, when he gets to sixty-one, he'll be tied with the record. Yeah, correct. He's at sixty now, which is one shy of yeah. the record. And so, it's actually not the record because didn't McGuire and Sosa both destroy that record? Although it's a tainted. No, record. no, no. See, this is where this is where I'm lost now. Okay. Now you're just saying things. No, no, like, I'm curious because yeah. I remember. Sosa and Mag- I remember that home run derby. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I feel like, in the interest and respect of the game, that we should come back and have done our homework. Okay, but I'm almost positive that I read that this next ball is worth two million dollars. I'm not disagreeing. Okay. I'm just saying that the ball after that will. All, I think any ball from now on in the race will be valued too. Yeah. But I think 61 and 62 are the most valuable balls. We've out learned there. a lot. Yes, um, that we have no idea what's going on in the world of sports. And speaking of valuable balls, yes, uh, no, actually not. Let's close with this. Yeah. Here's one for this Mike. This is embarrassing. I'm, I'm sh- so sorry, America. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> oh, you but you be. paint yourself as an athletic supporter. Oh, I thought I knew. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, it's 61. You should see the movie. It's Whose? A, the, the movie that HBO made. Uh, actually, Billy, You don't even know what you're talking about. Billy Crystal directed a movie called... City Slickers? No, no, no. Also great, though. Called 61, about that season. And it's great. It's a made-for-HBO movie? It was a made-for-HBO oh, movie. I don't have time for that. <laughs> you're a very busy man. <laughs> no. All right. Here's one for Mike O'Mara. Ron DeSantis update for Florida. I'm Florida. sorry. Yeah, nice queuing, Rob. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has warned of potential evacuation orders this week in advance of Hurricane Ian. The two aren't related. He just loves kicking people out. Uh, thanks, Santos. Whoa. Ron DeSantos. <laughs> Santos yeah, loves DeSantos. the joke. And that, folks, is Sound Town. There you go. Ooh. Thank you for listening. And uh, tomorrow we're going to have more sports talk. Yeah, that was so painful. <laughs> I don't know why. That's going to haunt me tonight. I don't know why WJFK fired me. I, why, why didn't you know? No, <laughs> I could have done all that. I'm as culpable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm yammering about records. See, I can talk about records. I got all kinds of records. No, not the wax records. <laughs> Hot wax? I can't wait till Mike hears this. I'd be so mad. A well, hot text to come through. Never talk about baseball again without me. <laughs> Thank God he listens to every episode when we do Oh, you it. bet he's listening right now. That's it, folks. Thanks for joining us for another perfect episode of TMOS. Don't forget, you can always reach us. Messages and talking head requests can be sent to Rob with two Bs at MikeOmeraShow.com. Our mailing address, 1900 M Street Northwest, Suite 400, Washington, D.C., 2. 0036. And don't forget to spend some time at MikeOmeraShow.com, TikTok, Internet, Bitcoin. Awesome. Thanks for listening and join us again the next time for the best part of your day, the Mike O'Mara Show. And don't forget tomorrow, Mike will be joining us with Hurricane yeah, Update. We'll also play who's on first. What's on second? I don't know who's on third. And for Mike O'Mara and Oscar Santana, this is Rob Spiewak saying so long, everybody. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. Get it at MikeOmeraShow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment.